Hi everyone, welcome to runout.tv, playing my good friend Jeeves, one of the stars of the channel. Uh, never gets a great luck against me, unfortunately, but I'm hoping he does well today. Uh, we're playing, we're going to play 8-Ball, it's a little bit different, I don't think I've ever played a game uh, on this before. We're going to give it a try. Um, I'm not actually used to... Uh, this this particular game and I'm not used to the physics because they have changed slightly on on the uh, on the on the online game but uh, like I say Jeeves is a big friend of the channel uh, watches all the videos I notice I haven't put that many videos on in the past few weeks no real reason for that if I'm honest I'm just struggling with a bit of motivation for it if I'm honest and um, I'm looking at maybe starting to use Tweepy to add lots of followers on Twitter for sports gaming videos see if i can increase the followers you know i've pretty much stayed static in terms of subscribers for maybe a year now hasn't gone up by a lot um but hopefully jeeves can play well i've covered the bag bottom left so he's got to do a little bit of shenanigans in around uh, the rules are that if he pots one on the other it's not a foul but he gives up the table so um it's like passing the shot really and that's i think that's what he's going to try and do here Yep, good good move. Um, not sure if I put both of our balls, if that's a, a foul or not, but I'm not going to try it. Need to stun across. We'll see what happens. I might have given up the table. No, that's a that's a legal shot. A legal, not illegal. Um, this is a. Oh, that was a ban. It depends how you look at it, but I think I've just flushed this one down the toilet. Like I say, I've not played a lot, so your chances are I'm going to be firing a few silly ones all over the place. Um, although I don't begrudge Jeeves a victory. I think we've done a few videos and he hasn't won many racks off me, so hopefully he can do well today. Probably his best chance, for honest. And this looks a great shot by Jeeves. Coming right round. As long as you hit that cushion, chances are you're okay from where he was so a good shot there it is a call shot game but to be honest we're all friends here we don't need to call every shot on every game that gets a little bit boring pretty quick and he's done well here it wasn't an easy clearance it was a one that he fancies getting you've got to call the black that's one thing you do have to do and he's got a he's got to nail this one in and he has so well done Jeeves takes a 1-0 lead and um Got to get a bit more, a bit more clinical on what I'm doing. I think I should be zoomed in a bit. Got to get the. I can see the physics have changed. Not sure if one went in there. Yet the five did go in. Um, and it's an open table. I mean, the stripes do look better. Well, do they? I don't know. Yeah, they probably do because I can use the. I can use. Oh, I don't believe... Why did it freeze there? That sucked. I might give that one back, but it doesn't matter because at the end of the day it was a foul. I'm not bothered. Um, yeah, strange little freezy-freezy there. Well done, Jeeves, giving that one back. Let me try that one again. Thank you. Right, hang on. Let me, was that me or was it? Well, now I've overhit it, of course, to compensate for it. Right, so um, I'm going to try and follow. Oh, now if that goes in, that would be harsh. A few little bits of. Now, can I get that? Yes. I can. I might just have an angle here to go up for the. Well, I've hit that too hard. Or have I? It's actually perfect. You see, that didn't feel good to me. That felt like I'd overdone it. Um, Jeeves been very sporting to give me a, a fair chance. And here I probably should clear up. And we'll give a round of applause to Jeeves for being such a good sport. He's one of the nicest guys on the, on the VP4 online. I've never met him, but I know he plays a bit himself in real life, so... 
this game, it's kind of weird. A lot of people wonder, does this game help you improve? It does help some of your game. Like it helps your aiming. So, for example, when you see the pot line there, the more you can refine that, the better. Um, don't do those shots very well. So, 1-1. One, one, and Jeeves, again, displayed a lovely... I'll do the same. I'd pass it back. Any, we call them mouse farts, not the best word. Look at that break. What a nice break. Now, what's the best? I think it's fairly obvious. You can have any stripes you like here. Although, the black ball, well, it doesn't really go anywhere at the minute. He's going to have to gonna have to hit it. As long as he hit it, it'll be okay. Now, maybe I might have screwed into it from there, although it wasn't obvious what you would leave. So that's really what he's got to think about. What's the best ball to... Just let me get back up here a little bit, a bit better. Which ball is he going to use to... At the moment, I think he might be intoxicated by the clearance. But he's going to have to think about the black a little bit. Could sort of leave himself high on the pink and go for glory. Um, he seems to be potting well. Again, turned down a chance to get it. Now here, he could go. Now, if that green wasn't there, you would screw back into it here. Off the cushion. Uh, basically, right, screw the white right back to the where, where his cue is and then go into them that way. Um, he's going to have to start thinking about it now, though. I mean, as you can see, if you want a tip on the how I play the game, I always look at getting that problem out. So really, I haven't bothered about the clearance so much here, other than to think about how he's going to get the black. Now he's straight on the 10, and I bet he's kicking himself watching this, regardless of how it works out, that he didn't have a go at getting the black out sooner, because it doesn't really go anywhere. Well, that, that was a, a good pot. But look what's happened. You know, he took turned down a few opportunities to get into the into the black ball. And now he's gonna well, he's gonna struggle to do anything really here. Um he could get very lucky and pot the black, but it's probably one in two hundred shot if that. He really just has to hit it and hope for the best, I think. Try not to give a foul away. He has to call the black, and again that reduces your your hit and hope by a few shots. So he's he's done the sensible thing here. And he's played safe. So I'm not sure if I get an extra shot or not, but I open them up straight away. Um, now here, I need to get into the black. I'm just trying to work out the best ball to do it. Just trying to leave an angle now. Well, I haven't. Uh, so if I play a sort of stun shot on the three, I might leave an angle. Well, sort of. Hmm. Yeah, I'm going to have to hit this quite hard and hope for the best here. That's worked out well. So again, as you saw there, focus completely on getting the problem ball out. We've got to be careful never to forget the pot. Obviously, if you miss one, there's not much you can do, really. Get the problem out and then mess up when you're clearing up. That never, ever feels good. But hopefully that's not going to happen here. Um, just need to make sure I, I get the angle correct. See, I went a bit thick there. I've got always a problem I have in real life when I've played VP4. Uh, this, and we're going to get the easy black here. So that was a, a nice clearance again. So we get the we get the break. I'll go straight at it. See if we can get a ball down. Come on, way way out. You go down. Nope. And look at those nice balls. Now, what would you go for? Just pause the video. Choose a set. I think it's probably stripes. You just stun the ball in here. Now, what I would do here, I would stun the fourteen in. I'd take the nine ball and then the the fifteen, the thirteen balls at the orange stripe at the top. Get rid of those first. It looks like Jeeves has is going to do that. I think. Although, it doesn't need to panic, I suppose, on that, because those balls are going to be there. It's just a case of which route you take, rather than anything else. Now, he's nudged the black. That's okay, though. Um, heart in the mouth time slightly. He didn't want to really touch that one, because he could have used the 10 just to roll that one in. And he was a bit quick off the mark there, so he's given me a chance. Now, we'll look at what I'm going to do here. I'm going to take the two because that allows me to get that pesky four and just roll on to the uh, pesky seven and roll on the four. So 
I get an instant chance to mop up in a nice way these balls up here. Jeeves saying silly Jeeves miss chances um, a little bit. But, you know, pool's not a... It's an easy game when you're watching and when you're commentating. I can tell you that now and look what I've done, see? Silly. Um, because I was trying to get myself on that plant. That was me. So that was a silly miss. We all do it. I don't do it often. But uh, what Jeeves knows fine well as he clears these balls is he'll have to take advantage because it's quite rare for me to miss two in one rack. Not easy. The six and the seven, that's a nice shot. But has he overdone it? In fact, it's going to be good because he can get the 13 into the centre pocket and that nudge off the top cushion is great. But what does he do about the 14 ball? He needs to get straight here so he can roll the 14 into the four and follow it in. So a little bit of a banana skin here. Maybe he's going, he's going a different way. Well, that's okay. He's just got to be full-blooded here and hit this right at the center of the pocket. We're going to get down to a better angle. Watch this shot. He wants the 14 to follow into the 4 if he goes that way. He has, but he hasn't done it right. He, you had to get the pot spot on there. A little bit of a reprieve for me. Um, and I'm now going to try and move the 6 and the 7 after potting the 3. Plenty can go wrong here. Any nick will do, and that's worked out well. And that should be the frame. He was just unfortunate that he left me that angle uh, when I took that three on. But I could do this. So a little bit unfortunate for Jeeves. We both had chances there. I just want to stun this one in. Well, I didn't want to... Mm. As you can see, guys, a little bit jumpy, which I'm not liking. And that's going to be 3-1. And it's really... That frame was a classic frame where it was the person that made the last but one mistake. You get a lot of frames like that in pool, especially in the pub when you play your mates. The person who makes the last but one mistake wins the frame. And that's always true unless you clear up. Now, what do we take? It's always worth just having a look at the table I'm going to look over the top and see where the problems are. Not just where the problems are, but where can you get the problems out is another one. Now, um, that red's pesky. Uh, it's probably going to be for the starting ball spots because all I've got to do is double the, the, the two in. So we're going to go for the solids and then we're going to try our best to... Oh, that was a, wasn't the best shot. Kind of made a mess this now. So what I'm going to do here is play with a lot of side. Try and go past the nine. Move the two and leave myself on the five. Well, I might be on the two, which is a real stroke of fortune. Yep, that is lucky. So take full advantage of that one. Here I'm going to try and nudge the 15. Right, and now uh, check side off the three to leave myself up the cushion on the four. And from here, it's a stun shot to leave myself on the eight. And then eight in the corner. So the real thing there was the shot to get the two out, which was a bit fortunate. When you get a bit of fortune, take advantage. I've got a couple of stripes down. And that's gone wrong. So an open table. Um, it's probably going to be spots if I can move this pink stripe. That's a chance now. I'm um, probably going to move the two if I can move it. Now, do I move the six? What do I do here? I think I'm going to leave the seven. Uh, oh. 
Oh, come on, Mal. Idiot. Tried to force it. Made a mess. That was a threw that one away. Threw that one away. So that's two bad mistakes I've made. Uh, but Jeeves looks like he's suffering a little bit from that, that barrage a bit, which is unfortunate. It does sometimes happen to Jeeves. Like I say, I, don't be good. I would never begrudge Jeeves playing well against me because I think he's always so nice when he plays. He's a good lad. Oh, and I've missed that one by a mile. That's it. I would love to know why I missed that shot. I'm going to watch the video back and wonder why I missed that. I didn't do that on purpose. You might think I'm going easy on him here. I'm not. I always think, give the, give everyone your best game. I play every game like it's a world final. Because I think that's the only, you know, it's the fairest way to play. So I'm not happy with that miss. Now here he's got to get right on the cushion. And he's done a great job. Nice position shot there. That could have gone easily gone wrong. Now here he's just got to hit it. Actually, a little bit, a little bit heavy. Doesn't want to hit it into the cushion. Now he wants to hit that a little bit harder, really. Here he's possibly going to be hitting the eight, and if he hits the eight, it could go in the side pocket. Oh, I called it. Oh, there you see, I can. You saw that angle, and that is unfortunate, Jeeves. Good game though, and I'll see you guys on the next video. Thank you to Jeeves for playing, and I'll see you later.